When I woke up this morning and I thought about Easter, there was a line of scripture that continued to play over and over in my mind. And it was that they went to the tomb and saw the rock rolled away. That scripture seemed to really speak to this moment that we find ourselves in today of trying to celebrate Easter during the crucifying realities of the COVID pandemic. As I thought of that scripture, I quickly thought of the people, the nurses, the doctors that are coming from across the country to hot spots where the COVID crisis is really impacting various communities and imperiling the lives of various people. I thought of these health practitioners that were leaving their homes and coming into the vortex of, of the pandemic. Yet, they aren't coming because they are being called by the reality of death, but they are coming because they're being called by the hope for life. When I think of Easter morning and that tomb where the rock was rolled away, I was thinking of the teachers who leave are leaving the comforts of their home and perhaps the safety of their homes to go and work online so that they can make sure that children who rely on food, getting food from their schools can still have a meal to eat even during this COVID crisis. These teachers aren't coming because they are pulled by the reality of death, but they are coming because they are pulled by the call of life and the hope for new life. I think also of those volunteers who are still working the lines of soup kitchens and, and, uh, and homeless shelters. Again, not because they are being called or pulled by the reality of death, but because they are being called and pulled by the hope of life. I think of the fact that on that first Easter morning, they went to the tomb and they saw that the rock was rolled away. For me, I am reminded that Easter isn't something that we simply celebrate on Sunday mornings behind church walls where we're gathered for worship. That Easter isn't simply something that happened long ago from Golgotha's Hill to an empty tomb. But Easter is about something that is happening now. It is about the fact that God continues to show up even in the midst of all of our realities of crucifying death, God continues to show up saying no to death and triumphing with the hope of life. And so the Easter call to us is that we continue to show up in those places where God is because we know and I know it's the thing that pulls me through, in fact, the fear of this pandemic that promises death. What pulls me through is the Easter God because I know that God has not left us alone. I know that our God who promises life, the God that created life, is the God that can triumph over any reality of crucifying death. So when I woke up this morning, I did wake up with Easter on my mind, even in the midst of this reality of death, because I thought of those women who went to the tomb. I don't know if they expected to find a dead body there, but what they found was, the, was new life. And the fact that they found that new life lets me know that indeed, hallelujah, the Lord is risen. The Lord is risen indeed because God continues to show up for us. And so all we have to do when we say our hallelujah is to show up with God and to act as if indeed 
that rock has been rolled away. Alleluia, the Lord has risen, the Lord has risen indeed. Thank God for Easter. <laughs>